Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to have some fun with a uh, hot foiling. I have here the November Glimmer Hot Foil Kit by Spellbinders and it comes with this gorgeous plate that uh, has some ornaments and they spell the word Mary as well as uh, this die that you can place directly underneath if you want to die cut it and I'm going to combine them both today for my card so you can see how they work together. You will get three sentiment plates including Christmas to you and yours and wishes and just like always in the kit you will get a roll, this time it is gold which is I think perfect for Christmas cards. So let's go ahead and create a card. First of all, I'm planning to place all those ornaments on top of red cardstock. And to trim my foil, I'm going to use a new tool that Spellbinders have just released. This is the Quick Trimmer, and it is going to come with a self-healing mat, as well as this trimmer guide that has grooves inside, where you can use your cutting plates. This come with the kit as well. So uh, each one of them is marked with foil or paper. Don't mix them up because the paper is going to dull quickly and you don't want to use that on your foil. Now, they also come in these plastic sleeves, which are perfect for uh, making sure that you don't uh, hurt yourself. These blades are quite uh, sharp. So the fun part about using this uh, little uh, trimmer is that um, you can easily manipulate the foil. Now foil is not easy to handle, it goes all over the place and um, if you want to have the exact amount and don't have any waste of foil then this is a really handy tool to have in your stash. So all you do is to trap or sandwich your foil in between those two plates and then you can place your foiling plate on top and decide how much of that foil you need. Then you you use your cutting blade, place it inside that groove and just trim the amount of foil that you need. This way you will not have any waste and you will see that the little piece that uh, is a leftover is nicely cut out which I am going to use later on for foiling one of the sentiments. I always like to secure my plates on top of my uh, cardstock, this way I know that it's not going to move on me and always do that extra step just to make sure that you won't have any surprises. Now I'm going to lift the plate on top so this way I created kind of a hinge. I'm going to place the foil underneath, pretty side up. I'm going to bring in my hot foil machine and you can see that it is plugged in and I have already that green light on. I'm also going to prepare the sentiments at this stage as well, so I can foil everything with one passing. This time I'm using white cardstock and uh, of course that golden foil. I'm going to trim those sentiments later, so I don't have to worry about placing them completely straight. And now it's time to place everything on my glimmer machine. Now I'm going to press that button and you can see that this uh, light is blinking. When that green light stops blinking, then you know that it is quite warm and it is ready to apply pressure. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. And you can see here that uh, the light is going to stop blinking. So I know it is warm, I'm going to pick up the platform and run it slowly through my die cutting machine. This is going to apply pressure, it's going to help that foil to stick on top of your paper and at the same time it embosses so it gives that lovely letterpress look, really professional. I always like to run this a couple of times through my machine and now let's see what we have. The blades are quite hot, they are not going to burn you but be careful in any case and let's peel off and see what we have. I think this is gorgeous and if you notice at the top I do have a little bit of overfoiling but I'm going to show you how you're going to fix that. It doesn't really matter for the design that I'm going for since I'm planning to cover up the top but I will show you how you can fix overfoiling. It does happen from time to time but it's really not an issue. I zoomed in for you so you can see how pretty those sentiments are and check out those uh, foiled hanging ornaments. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and here is the overfoiling at the top. Now all you need to do is to have a sand eraser very lightly. I'm going to go over the foiling and you will see that it's going to erase it completely without leaving any trace at the back. And again, it doesn't really matter for the design that I'm going for since I'm going to cover them up, but I will do that so that I can demonstrate how easy it is. Don't be afraid of foiling. It is so much fun and the cards that creates are just stunning. They look really professional. 
And this Christmas, if you want to create something quick and simple, but at the same time have something extra on your card, then I think that this plate is perfect for you. All you have to do is to create many different panels like this one, add your sentiment underneath and you are ready to go. However you know me, I cannot leave anything as is, so I'm going to add lots and lots of details and I'm going to take it a step further. I will use the die that was included in the kit, so I will end up having a panel that I can pop on a card. After all, you know that I love Dimension, I think that it adds something extra on any card design. And since I have the quick trimmer on my table, I am going to demonstrate that you can use it for cutting out little strips of paper, which is perfect for cutting out your sentiments. Now I am going to use the paper cutting blade, don't mix them up. It's really easy to align everything straight, after all you have lines on the self-healing mat as well as on the top. And I will repeat the same thing for the bigger sentiment as well. You can place this panel with the hanging ornaments on any pattern paper that you have that has a Christmas uh, look and feel. I decided to go with this one that has uh, golden stripes on top. I'm gonna trim it down to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So at this stage I was going for a full cover of my card base, but you will see that later on I am going to trim it just a little bit. And now if you want, you can add a touch of shadow on the ornaments to make them look more three-dimensional. For that, I'm using uh, my Distress Ink and that's Fired Brick, just a touch darker than my cardstock. And just because I'm lazy, I'm not going to use any mask. I'm just going to use that leftover cardstock to cover up areas of the ornaments so that I don't uh, apply the darker ink all over the ornaments. And I was so lazy, I didn't even bother to grab a smaller brush, but everything worked out just fine. After all, I was just going to add a touch of shadow on one side of the ornaments, and I wasn't going for the perfect blended look there. These look darker than they actually are, and it is going to dry as well, and it's going to blend out even better. Now, I'm using a clean paper towel, and I go over the ornaments, since I have some uh, ink that is still on top of the foil, which is not going to dry or blend there, so you need to wipe it off. And now let's put the card together. I do have foam tape at the back, so I'm going to pop that on my pattern paper. And then underneath you can stick your sentiment and call this card done. You know me, I am going to take it a step further, so I did a foil and die cut this foliage. This is the same branch four times and it comes from the Christmas organic foliage. It is another one of those uh, cut and uh, foiling plates by Spellbinders. And I was debating either I want the um, a foliage to be green, but I decided finally to use white with gold accents, just because I feel like white, gold and red together really give a touch of elegance on my card. For two of the leaves I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue so they lay flat, and for the top two I went with foam tape to add dimension. I'm using my big scissors to cut out everything that sticks out so I have a nice and neat panel. And uh, you probably can't tell here, but I did trim the panel, the whole thing, just about a quarter of an inch on each side, so when I place it on top of my card base, I will end up having a little border. To complete my card, I'm also going to stick down the sentiments, and uh, the whole thing reads, Merry Christmas to you and yours. I do have foam tape at the back of the sentiments, so they are popped up as well. And here is the close-up look on the card that I made for today, showcasing the Spellbinders foil kit for November. Just like always, down below you will find a full list of all the products that I used for creating this card. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, and I wish you all a lovely weekend.